Fiofan had been placed at the Vatican Residentura by the Soviet Union decades ago as an agent of espionage, assuming that in the post-arms race of Gorbachev and Reagan, gathering intelligence and creating disseminating disinformation would be the extent of his operations. Over the years, he had received random promotions for successful but what he considered rather menial operations. Eventually, being told he was an upper-level operative, the agency took Fiofan into the bowels of Soviet Union counterintelligence. He was taken past the agencies involved in underground resistance groups, past sabotage and the subversion of hostile states, deeper still than the intelligence analysis arm of international think groups. He was taken even deeper than the Schluss Bavaniesh Nietzenyet Gerasi, a pseudo black operations organization set up to divert the United States Central Intelligence heads Frank Wisner and Alan Dulles with a labyrinth of busy work. Fiofen had been taken to the God particle of psychological warfare. Genesis 12, where the nightmare of unimaginably powerful propaganda had been conceived. They manufactured black propaganda operations where terrorists portrayed themselves as victims in order to arouse rage against injustice, fomenting war such as in Gladio, Northwoods, and Douay. Here was the inception of false flag distortions of science, politics, history, geography, and sociology but especially theology. Genesis 12 was most masterful at theological sabotage, force-fed to manipulate the general public. It would annihilate a human's ability to process information. The strategy was to overwhelm with information and disinformation. The true and the false don't teach one truth, but have billions of competing truths out there, so no human could possibly know which was true. Create widespread disillusionment of trusted sources, flood the media with skillfully deceptive, satirical, conspiratorial, as well as deliberately amateurish sources. For the ultimate goal of disinformation was and is still an existential distrust not just to cause people to distrust each other, but to distrust their own perceptions and ultimately their very own existence. And when breakdown of reality occurs in the human mind for its own survival, it will then cling to a savior lie. And that is what Genesis 12 does. It creates the crisis, then offers the solution. It gives the world the savior lie, the father of all lies. Theophan had been processed through the machine and never again could trust anyone or anything.